Okay, this is the part two of the uh, chapter 11's third part. So let's go to the third part, yeah, part two. So in this part, we will discuss about uh, the amortization of intangible assets and then we will solve the problem. Okay, so let's see. So amortization of intangible assets, you know that, uh, uh, let's have an example. Say, for example, if you, you purchase a patent, say you are purchasing a patent, okay? And if you can use the patents for 10 years, okay? So you will evenly allocate the cost of the patent over the 10 years useful life. So the primary advantage of the amortization is for the farm is uh, you can reduce the tax burden because you know when you are uh, subtracting the amortization from say the uh, net income so you will have lower amount of net income and your tax will also be lower correct so it helps the firm to show a higher value of assets and more income on the firm's financial statements so this is an example and the useful life so we need to be careful about the useful life of the uh, intangible assets then the residual value and you know that uh, normally the residual value of an intangible asset is zero and the residual value uh, is non-zero if at the end of the assets useful life uh, to the reporting entity the asset will benefit another entity so and the allocation method is uh, very simple it is called amortization it is almost like the uh, depreciation and here is a chart uh, that will help you to understand the useful life uh, of uh, different intangible assets. For example, acquisition related uh, developed uh, technology, uh, three to nine years, then customer relationship, five to 11, uh, brands, uh, related brands, uh, five to eight, and technology and patents, two to 17 years okay so let's see one example okay so that uh, this company began operation in 2021 early in january the company purchased the following two intangible assets number one the franchise uh, from the azx industries for 200,000. the franchise agreement is for a period of 10 years okay. and the a patent for 50,000. The remaining legal life is 13 years, but uh, due to the expected technological obsolescence, the company estimates that the useful life would be 8 years. Okay, so if we calculate the depreciation uh, by using the straight line uh, amortization method for all the intangible assets, then uh, we find that this is the fast depreciation on the franchisee and uh, this one is the depreciation for amortization expense meaning the actually amortization expense for patent and this is for franchise okay see that we have uh, divided the value of the intangibles by the useful life meaning life of the asset and here it is uh, eight years because even though it was 13 years, but they have estimated, re-estimated that the useful life would be 8 years. Okay, so now let's solve one problem. So we will be solving one problem. Okay, here is the problem. So you can see that the patent amortization and patent defense. So the problem is telling us that on January 1, January 1, 2018, the David Corporation purchased a patent for 500,000. 
the remaining legal life is 12 years okay it is saying but the company estimated that the patent will be useful only for eight years see that and um, in january 2020 the company incurred legal fees of 45,000. okay see they have started on uh, 2018 and they have spent 45,000 uh, for the legal fees and successfully defended their patent infringement suit so the successful defense did not change the company's estimate that useful life see that so useful life would be eight years and they are asking us to prepare journal entries for um, the years 18, 19, and 20. 20 okay. So the first one. Let's start with um, first one is so January 2nd, 2018. Uh, we have acquired the patent. So it will be. Patent depreciation and oh, cash. So patent debit and cash credit. So five hundred thousand and five hundred thousand. And it would be to record purchase of patent. Okay. And on the December 31st, 2018, we will record the amortization. So, amortization expense. But amortization expense debit. And we don't know the expense yet. And patent credit. And how? And it would be 500,000 divided by 8 years, okay? So, and the amount would be 62,500 62,500 okay so and here is the narration would be so to record amortization okay and the same thing Amortization expense and patent for 2019. Okay. To record amortization. Okay. And now on the first January, see they have spent this 45,000. So it will actually increase the value cost of amortization so sorry patent so what we need to do uh, we will record patent debit and cash credit so it should be 45,000 and 45,000 so to record um, Cost of defending patent, or uh, you can say that uh, legal fees to record the legal fees. Okay, and now uh, what will be the depreciation? I mean, sorry, amortization on December 31st, 2020. The amortization. So we need to calculate the amortization. In this way, so step one 
So the first two years amortization. So first two years amortization, it should be uh, what uh, 2018 and 19, 60 2500. Okay. So total amortization for the years 2018 to 2019 would be. Mm, 62,500 dollar sign multiplied by 2 equal to we need that so it should be how much uh, 125,000 okay so this is the big uh, Amortization for the first two years. We need that. So now let's start. The cost. Cost is um, five hundred thousand. Then less. Amortization to date. How much? Amortization to date. It is under twenty-five thousand. Okay. Let's make the font color black. Okay. So this is our. Amort unamortized cost and this would be equal to 375,000. Okay, now add legal cost, legal fees of successful defense, and that one is 45,000. Okay. So the sum of these two would be 420,000. So this is our new unamortized cost and estimated useful life would be, see we say that uh, useful life is 8 years instead of uh, 12 years so and we have already used for 2 years so we have remaining 6 years correct so if we need a division sign we can insert okay so 6 years okay so 6 years if we divide 420,000 by 6 we find 70,000. This is our uh, annual new annual amortization. Okay, so let's delete this one. So we have 70,000. So to record, amortization expense and This is how we this is how we solve this problem. Problem number three. So I hope you enjoy this one.